What's up? AJ here from EA Sports, back with more E3 coverage. I'm with Donnie Moore, the ratings czar of Madden NFL 12. And Donnie, we've been talking about ratings and this new dynamic player performance, but now you're going to uh, show us some Madden NFL 12. Let's take a look at this game and, and kind of explain like how this impacts the game now. Well, I mean, the big, big takeaway, I guess, for the traits and tendencies is the fact that players are going to, their abilities are going to go up and down throughout the game based on what's happening inside the game. Um, before you come in to the game with your 99 speed or your 94 awareness, and it's stay like that throughout the first quarter, second, all the way into the fourth quarter. Um, the big thing now is that in certain situations, uh, at the end of the game, we have clutch situations where you're going to have certain guys tagged in the game, um, very few guys, not, it's not like a whole bunch of guys, um, that are going to be tagged as clutch players. And they're going to enhance the abilities of their players around them in these clutch situations at the end of the game when the game's on the line and it's really going to make a big difference in the gameplay. Okay, you're not necessarily in a uh, clutch situation yet. We're in the first quarter. Uh but you did promise us some ratings, uh, so go ahead and give us these two starting quarterbacks ratings. Speaking of clutch, these guys are both clutch, correct? Oh yeah, they, uh, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers, they're just about as clutch as it gets. Um, Tom Brady, over 20, 20 or 25 fourth quarter comebacks, so the guy knows how to get it done. Um, we have Tom Brady, 99 overall this year, the top quarterback in Madden NFL 12, and we have Aaron Rodgers as a 98, so he's right there. Uh, Super Bowl winner, MVP, and he's just one point off the uh, the great Tom Brady. You heard it here first. 99 overall for Tom Brady, 98 overall for Aaron Rodgers. However, these two guys, very similar ratings overall, but they play very differently, whereas in the past they did not, correct? Yeah, sure. I mean, like you know, like we said, Tom's, in, Tom's 99, Aaron's in 98. Their throw powers, their throw accuracies, awareness, they're, they're going to be very similar. Um, but this year, new to Madden NFL 12, is the fact that we have these traits and tendencies that really make these guys, uh, they separate. Uh, Tom Brady is a guy, when he gets pressured, he's going to throw the ball away. He's not going to be looking and holding on to it that extra second uh, to make a play and force the pass in. Whereas Aaron Rodgers, he might face some, uh, some, some pressure and then start scrambling or he might try to actually tight, uh, throw that ball into a tighter space uh, than, than a Tom Brady would. And it makes a really big difference when you're playing the CPU in franchise mode uh, and all throughout the game. Okay, very cool stuff, Donnie. Obviously, we're going to talk more about Madden NFL 12 here at E3 2011, so stay tuned, easports.com, as well as facebook.com slash easports. Thanks again, Donnie. See you guys soon.